and welcome to another video of the Diablo 3 beta. Here we have the screen that you will see after you log in of your hero. We have your banner, which you can customize, kind of like a guild tabard, except you have more options. And you can unlock things based on achievements, which is really cool. Change the pattern, things like that. Change what you got on the bottom, your sigil, different colors, different positions, all fun stuff. Cancel that. So here we have the switch hero if you want to go to your other heroes. Pretty much all these names are for your personal use only. Once you play a multiplayer game, it'll use your battle tag ID, which is kind of nice. So you can pretty much have any name you want. You don't have to worry about somebody taking your name. going to change quests. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to keep running the same quest over and over again to level up and get more gear. So we're actually going to switch this one. We're going to start the game. Pretty much waypoints are a little different than Diablo 2. You don't actually keep the same waypoints. You they're based on your progression in the quest. So if I was to start over, I would have no waypoints. Also, another cool thing is this is the closest waypoint to your quest, which is kind of neat. But I'm actually gonna go here just to mess around for a little bit. I'm gonna kill this guy. Freeze them and then pulverize them and make them have a bad day. Walking over gold just picks it up, which is a nice. Diablo 2 was a bitch. <laughs> and as you can see, I'll zoom in. We can, you have her. What's wrong with my hair? Okay, there it is. She has her, her offhand, which is showing up, which is really cool. Like the witch doctor had the voodoo doll, which is amazing. Blizzard did a nice job with the graphics and everything. Show you how this uh, town portal works, almost like a hearthstone. Go over to a blacksmith. First, we have our gold, which is actually. You don't have gold per hero, you have gold per account, which is nice. No more having to shuffle back and forth gold between your characters. Also, instead of uh, professions, you have artisans, which make things for you. And you can train them to level up, and when you train them, they learn more things. Also, salvage is kind of like disenchanting, where you take magic items, destroy them, and get stuff they use to make things. Like the Zaxxon need 19 of these uh, crafting material. And they have different levels based on higher level items. 